What's up guys? It's Larry the Mortgage Guy, Sales Disruptor. And today's topic is about editing. Now, you might think I'm talking about editing photos or editing videos. No, uh, that is a totally different class and I would consider that above and beyond social media marketing 101 because that is a uh, managing content, right? This editing is about your news feed, okay? Whenever you put stuff on your news feed, you have to kind of realize that it's kind of like graffiti, okay? So when you're posting on your news feed, pretend your news feed is your building, right? And every single time you put something on your news feed, it's tagging, it's graffiti, it's being added, it's a picture, it's whatever being added to your building. The positive thing is, if you post it on your, your, your news feed and it doesn't get any kind of engagement or you start getting negative results, like people kind of talking trash or people kind of, you know, uh, giving you negative feedback, you can always delete it. And that's what I suggest you do. With posts or posts from other people that uh, basically pollute your news feed, you should erase and delete. Um, and if you don't know that you can do that, then yeah, you definitely need some social media marketing training, especially with uh, Facebook. But yes, you are able to literally control what is on your news feed and what stays on your news feed. Same thing with business pages. You know, you should probably audit your business page once every quarter and kind of look at it and try to look at it from a perspective of a client or a prospect and just read the content and see if is it something that you think you want representing your business because I always tell people that your business page is like your brochure. It's like your website or whatever. So people are gobbling content up in your business page and you want to make sure they're gobbling the right content and not the wrong content. Um, I've already made this suggestion before. You should secret shop, your, secret shop your own page and try to view it from a buyer's perspective or a customer's perspective and try to figure out how you are being perceived by them. So, yeah, learn to edit your pages, your personal page, your news feed, as well as your business pages. And you can also edit the comments of your posts as well. So if someone posting, posting on your comments and you don't like what they're posting, delete it. You know, And if they keep on doing it, then... Uh, delete them ban them you know edit editing also means editing your friends okay hopefully you guys got some value out of that this is larry the mortgage